How to identify? That is the question. Some introduced from foreign lands and some natives. Is identification difficult? Not so, in fact, especially if one follows a few basic steps in the art of practical, everyday identification. So is the Cook's Pine. Off the coast of Australia, these two species evolved independently on separate islands. The differences are superficial and therefore quite easy to identify. Just crush one in your hand and you can quickly smell the perfume. These trees had to be removed to make way for street wire supports. These were not poles for telegraph or electricity, but for telephone wires. The climate was hotter than it is today. Australia started to break away from Antarctica around 100 million years ago. At the time, Antarctica was still covered in tall trees. Brushbox is by far the most common street tree in the large cities of Australia. Sometimes it looks like whole suburbs have been built around this densely foliaged species. It occurs naturally in one isolated... This incorporated over 100 species, including the famous white-barked ghost gum and the spotted gum. A common street tree and probably one of the best known gum trees. Its Latin name being Corymbia maculata. Inner city areas. These are English elms. They are the defining tree of Melbourne, a link to its settler past. Elms have been planted here since Melbourne became a city. When naming plants, for example, Banksia integrifolia, the scientific name is traditionally written in italics. The genus starts with a capital letter and the second name, the species, with the lowercase letter. This is called the binomial naming system. It was devised by... During the 19th century, extensive logging in Victoria cut down most of the regnans. Selective logging still goes on today. Back in 1880, a government surveyor named... This bizarre looking tree is very much Australian, with only one species out of more than 70 occurring outside of its borders in Papua New Guinea. It's the stem. The number of these teeth-like leaves will tell which species the tree belongs to. And the female tree has inconspicuous flowers, usually red in colour. Mount Dreadful, Mount Despair. The savage winds shout among the rock clefts. He continues, Some see no beauty in our trees without shade, our flowers with just about every large city has them. In London, from where the hybrid got its name, sometimes it seems to be the only tree for miles. No one tree has aroused as much passion as the London Plain. Over 2,000 of them. Included among them, and unbeknown to them at the time, they had examples of a tree that was going to define a whole nation. This couple of species that they took back with them to England was later to be named as the greatest tree genus of all time. It was the...